instead of a bike ride, I guess I'll have one of these instead. Mm. Welcome another big edition of Headbanging Zulu K's Big Weather Port action. Well, we've got partly cloudy skies. It's about 15 Celsius, about 60 Fahrenheit. But look what I just drew with my with a blindfold on. Yeah, this is pretty amazing. I don't know how people can draw this well. <laughs> the British Columbia flag, that thing. <laughs> mm. It's weird they call it BC's northern capital, even though we're right in the middle of British Columbia. We're not, we're north of Vancouver, but <laughs> never could figure that out. As for the LA Ram fans, of course there's the great Mr. PG. And of course, you got to have hockey if you're going to have any kind of deal there. And uh, the big railway bridge. My wife's grandpa helped build that thing back in a hundred years ago. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the action. Here we have the Vancouver Canucks and the Chicago Blackhawks. The Blackhawks in white, Canucks in the blue. Overtime, game seven, best of seven series. Series tied at three. Game in Vancouver. Winner moves on in the playoffs. See what happens. Come on, Canucks. I love it. We want hockey. subscribers here's Canadian VC superstar Dan Powers at work and just above him with the digger is Darcy a six string six strings nine lives he's operating the big digger machine Rebel heads out to clean the swimming pool. Cloudy, stormy, mild, or accidentally on purpose forgot to strap in the piano due to his dislike of keyboardy music. See what happens. Here it comes. Oh, stop! Stop! Oh, Bip-bop-boom locked himself out of his house. DC Superstar Dan Powers fell asleep watching one of Blackmore Rules videos, so 
Darcy Six Strings Nine Lives and Jerko My Vinyl Bar. Try and wake him up. Greg Yake, Black Morales takes advantage of the hot weather. Even with it being winter, where too much metal is never enough lives, he's still out there enjoying the great outdoors. Take four! <laughs> this is supposed to be fun! But anyway, I welcome another British in a rock shirt. Motorhead tour shirt to start off the action. Two thousand eight. And the classic logo. And like Ian Gillen says on one of the best live albums in rock history, made in Japan. We live everything louder than everything else. Very cool. Let me sure here. Holy cow. Motorhead shirt. Gotta love that. Look, if I was in a band, I'd love to do that uh, look all the time. The Pete Whale UFO did the same thing, maybe like a machine gun type thing. Anyway. And another thing I like watching Lemmy do is pound the bass with his fist kind of thing. He'll be playing. Cool. After some part punk of Paparola along the lines of Green Day Juki and uh, Offspring, Ixnay and the Ombre type thing. California band. They're just fun. I like their lyrics. They're not in the gutter lyrics. So, I've seen them live before. Left Coast Punk. Established 92. We all want to go to the punk rock shows. Punk rock show, I think, is the name of the song they sang that. But. And one of my favorite album covers ever. Yeah, it's just loud and proud. Great album. The first half of that album is great. The other half I don't care for, but the first half is lots of 9 or 10 out of 10s on it. In fact, uh, that would be a good album battle, Rousing Naz vs. Loud and Proud. And I saw them on this tour, 2014. They were good, I got to stand right up front in a small club, right in front of the guitarist, so the guitar tone was perfect. And this is a bit out of alphabetical order. Anyway, true punk rock. From my hometown. They've been around since the 70s. Here's a cool shirt. Some might think that's a weird bill, but REO and Sticks can rock if they play just their rockers. Like, I know they have some syrupy. Mr. Roboto's a 0 out of 10 in my mind, but <laughs> that really almost broke up the band, I think, that song, and I, I can see why. Midwest Rock and Roll Express. And speaking of the offspring, that's a pretty cool shirt. This is what uh, well, explains it on the back. This saw them a couple of years ago. They're as good as I hope too. The concerts seem to go by way too fast. Like, like oh, is that it? Or? And there's one of the best rock and roll pictures. That's what I want to see when I see a rock and roll show. And the back's cool too, but it's kind of fading out now. But concert picture, Randy Rhodes. 
And you can barely read that, but. <laughs> I just showed this album in my last video, oddly enough. The sleeves are cool on this. Got that same picture. On the other side, it's got that. And on the back, it's got this. It's one of those, I don't know if it's sublimation type shirt, but I think that's what this is. But it looks just fantastic. Excellent flying V polka dot guitar. Ozzy's hair the way it should be. Randy Rhodes' hair is perfect. Perfect rock. Um, this Canadian band that every Canadian kid knew back in the day. Prism. Spaceship Superstar is probably their best song. My favorite song anyway. They have another one, Armageddon, that's longer. But live it was really good, Armageddon. But yeah, their guitarist was fun to watch. Uh, Al Harlow. Get a lot of stage that he was a singer and guitarist, main guy, and he was doing lots of spinning the guitar around his back and all this kind of showmanship is what, what I like. And speaking of showmanship, doesn't get better than smashing the guitar into a speaker and having a fire. <laughs> Richie Blackmore. That should be right on the entrance of every Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, that picture. Another Richie Blackmore's rainbow shirt. This from when he just started rocking out again. What year? 2017. I didn't go to this, but I almost did. But I'd seen them the year before. And they were playing with Blue Oyster Cult and The Sweet. And they also had a record fair. I don't know if it was the London one or which one of these had the... But uh, that would have been a fantastic concert. And here's one of my favorite album covers of all time, Rainbow Rising. And this is from the Rainbow Rising album as well. Tony Carey was the butt of a lot of pranks. Ran him out of the band pretty well. There's Blackmore with the man on the Silver Mountain. First album background. Cozy Powell. Man, his drumming on Light in the Black is excellent. You see when they play Stargaze and Light in the Black back to back, Cozy's hands would bleed from so much drumming. There's Dio, of course, and Jimmy Bain. Love that picture where he's in the fog or whatever. That looks great. And here's the one I did see, Rainbow. Kind of called it the Monsters of Rock 2016. And who, here's who was at that show. I love that. And I wish I would have seen Rainbow in 77. Funny they don't have Dio in the front picture here for the album cover, but <laughs> or on the shirt, but love how it has the names of the songs in the back here. Pretty darn good set list. But I guess that does it, so, uh... Oh no, we'll try two more. Oh, it's a bit out of order since it's tape four. <laughs> That's a... Good picture, that Randy Rhodes picture <laughs> we showed earlier. And on both sides. How about this one? I'm glad I saw that show. Thanks for watching. Don't forget Slower Traffic. Keep up the right, right, Cody!